Hello! Glitch Reaper here again. I'm here with Enderman of Doom for a very special uh, uh, mod author hangout again. In this case, it is for his uh, mod Engender. I've been kind of looking forward to getting yes. to this at some point, and we're finally here. Time has come for the Engender mod showcase. Now, you may also note a few things. For one thing, I have Abyssalcraft gear, if you're aware of that mod. And two, you may also note that he's talking a little bit uh, Star Wars-ish right now. Uh, I... th 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 those are both things that will actually be referenced in this if first you will not be t If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. Which also summarizes oh. in gender because you uh, can have your own factions. Uh, or, but uh, is... or you will be shot to pieces. <laughs> Uh, that is also coming up later. Uh, you'd be surprised, because uh, this version of Engender that he's come out now has a lot of cross-mod content, and uh, there are some yes. in interesting first, future things the, coming the up. The first like cross-mod content has arrived, people, and it is in gen and it is between the Engender mod and the, and, and, the and the supremely awesome Abyssalcraft. Yes, yes. Uh, we got together with Shino, stuff happened, and... Well, this is the result. So, in case you're wondering, yes, this is definitely uh, a special moment. And so some of the stuff that we go over much later may or may not be officially released yet on Curse because it I, I have advanced copies, I'm doing special testing, and yes, crash happens. So, yeah, hashtag this is why we test. I really hope. I really, really hope this time I'll actually edit that onto the screen somehow. Uh, but anyhow, <laughs> as we speak, and in fact, as we speak, I am grabbing, I am grabbing snippets, uh, snippet images of crafting recipes. And for that matter, trying to correct a big bug we ran into while doing some earlier testing. But that's not the only reason why we're here. We're here to do. Uh, we're here to do a legitimate review. showcase. Yes, we we're here to do a full showcase of Engender, including all the way up the tiers, and, of course, starting stuff first. And this is also why I'm here on a survival island. Uh, I actually found a pretty good uh, seed for this recently, and I thought, eh, why not? Uh, why don't you show, why don't you put the seed up? Just in case people want to, just in case, just in case people want to seed it. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm a bit of a seed collector myself. Uh, believe it or not, the seed is called Nopezilla. That is capitalized with the N. Nopezilla. Uh, l l let me just... No. Also, ignore the fact that he's dueling two guns. Uh, no, no, I'm not, right I'm, not, okay, I'm not doing that right now. I'm not doing that right now. He's got but He's got them. I do have them. It might happen later. But yeah, the seed is... Nopezilla. <laughs> I guess, uh, you know, it's really funny when you have an appropriate seed number and, and things happen like this because a lot of people think Survival Island these days and they just go, nope. Well, Nopezilla gives you a survival island, so, yeah. Anyhow, uh, the the thing is, when you start out with an engender, there's a few things that happen really early on, and the cheapest, most useful thing you could possibly get early on is can be gotten from the thing can be gotten from if you to put it simply this way, if you have if you enable the bonus chest, you're going to be able, you're probably going to be able to get it the very uh, in the very first second of your play. Well, the first few seconds, anyhow. But yeah, note how you have, of course, a lot of, well, wood going around. And, well, the thing Orchies. is, if you get Extra yourself torch. a crafting table, and for that matter, take some of the wood to make some sticks, you can make something very, very useful. And I'm going to try doing that right now by actually temporarily going into, uh, well, <laughs> survival mode, because that's actually easier than using creative at this time. <laughs> it's it's always funny when that happens. Beware of the killer animals, too. Well, I do have several very painful uh, mods on right now, including yes, engender can be dangerous sometimes. But I engender is have... very dangerous. Engender is very dangerous. Well, I also Ren have lycanite's mobs. Of all things, I got a raw salmon in here. A friend of mine who tried to play with engender, uh, apparently, apparently within the first minute of playing it, he was killed by a sheep. <laughs> well, that can also happen with abyssal craft, which I have in here. I mean, cross mod content. Being yeah, shown. the the evil sheep and the demon sheep don't do nearly as much havoc to you as a, as an engender mod wild sheep. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. 
if they're not aligned with your specific faction, they are against you. And if they're against you, they will try to kill you. So, yeah. I'll just leave that towards and in particular, And in particular, the wild ones are, nat nat or nat are naturally spawning. There we go. There's our first item. Yes, the and they have staff. Now read the lore. This is a new thing. Uh, every item will have a very descriptive lore di dictating how to use the item. Well, yeah. Uh, they, well, the ones that have actions. So this is the converting staff. Read the lore for it. Yeah, it converts wild and ginger mobs to your side. You must hold right-click until it tells you in chat that the mob has been converted. Mobs will take longer to convert depending on tier. It is the cheapest method to convert but also the most time cons uh, so most time costing. I guess you'd say time consuming normally. Now let's just see if there are any ginger mobs in my vicinity. This nope. does require it will actually is an additional note, it will also tell you whenever it's not gonna succeed by saying there's nothing around. And or why. Like if it if it if it says that it's no longer wild, meaning the only mobs in your vicinity that are in gender mobs are in fact on your side or tamed by somebody else you can't convert them, and it will report that. I, that has happened to me a few times while doing this. <laughs> Skeleton is not wi isn't wild. But uh, just because it tells you, just because you find a wild in gender mob, and then and then it tells you it is wild con starting conversion, does not mean that you stop. You keep on holding back the right click. Yeah, and also remember it has a definite range, so why I'm running out to the edges of my island is not just random and just trying now, to get a little bit Now, we're not closer. going to go in depth onto the staff, on, onto the staff's new features, including the upgrades, because those yeah. will come... That's those a little will technical, come, actually, as to why that even works, so just saying. Now, those will come with the Abyssal, with the Abyssal, with the Abyssal Craft and Gender Mud add-on uh, part of the review. Yeah, because, uh, because uh, that that has some cross mod content in and of itself, actually. That that being said, just just not deny you of content if you don't install Bizzlecraft, the ri the rituals turn into recipes. Yeah, the, because uh, with the new uh, cross mod content, it, it actually uh, takes into account the Abyssalcraft ritual system, and so a lot of things need to be upgraded that way. Uh, it, but if you don't have Abyssalcraft, it will detect that and it will ensure that they become regular crafting recipes, which will probably be fairly expensive. Uh, but hey, uh, you've got a few things to take care of that, right? They're the exact same items as in the crafting recipe. Yeah, yeah. okay. They're, the crafting recipe is the exact same items as in the, as is in the ritual. The only difference being that Abyssal Craft rituals are actually more expensive because you need the bulk and the potential energy. Which are things I'll... Uh, probably eventually go over with whenever when I he does when he does the when he does stuff. yeah when he does actual abyssal craft this is not abyssal craft this is an engender mod with with abyssal craft yeah now abyssal we're craft, also doing abyssal the earlier tiers itself. of just we're doing the earlier tiers of just engender right now but we will build up to more stuff with abyssal craft involved because of the cross mod as you may as you may be able to tell from the title this is engender mod 101 how to get started yeah, that will definitely be the title. So the converting uh, staff now, is the simplest thing. Also, know something very special right now. It is, it is becoming twilight hours. In both sets of twilight hours, something special happens. Engender mobs will show up naturally, and uh, they can be a little intense. Now, I haven't specifically toggled on one of the new features yet. So if it's on by default, it's on by default. If it's not, it's not. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Pretty sure they spawn. I'm pretty sure that 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 I undid that in this new one, and they spawn during the and they spawn well, most often during the daytime. When there uh, is I was talking. About, I was talking about the, the the mob models. Whether or not that was toggled on by default or not. That's turned, but that's turned off by default. That's turned. That's turned to false by default. I can always show it off later in its own section to just show what they all look like and what they do. So yeah, Come on. we can move to that another time. <laughs> Yeah, the mud, the the that has a, that that changes them to the fact to the point where they actually have new capabilities. So they'll it'll probably be its own section. So yeah. now we're going to move on to another to another important thing of the get started. So the converting staff is is simple, but you don't always find wild mobs. Yeah, so that is that's a definite you don't, thing. And when you don't find wild mobs, you got to turn to the classic. So go to kind of. so. Well, uh, the classic until you get better methods. Yeah. But uh, head to the top left. You see that spawner? Yes, that one. That is the special engineer mod monster spawner. 
Yeah, this is not a normal monster spawner, folks. This is totally different. Uh, this thing is uh, special in that, first of all, you can actually craft it. Uh, actually, what's really weird is I've seen almost this exact recipe before. <laughs> but, but it's basically eight iron bars surrounding an emerald, and you get eight monster spawner. Uh, also note that EMC is around here because I have Project E because I uh, this now, is a file I'm doing for a lot thing, of mobs. Now this thing once, so is yeah. now this thing oh, is I, a. I'm seeing something move. I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing numbers. This is Skyless. Up, oh, it was just uh, like a nice mob fighting. But anyhow, as I was going to say, now, uh, this thing is I'm doing a lot of now, mods in this file at the same time. To, now, to by the way, things. the texture of the of this monster spawner is actually the old te texture from beta. Ah, okay. So that's why it's a different color. Now, what is that thing in the water? Oh, you've noticed some of the new Lycanite's mobs. Are you, are you noticing the whirlpool specifically? Because that would probably be a roa. They're basically a shark that makes whirlpools. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to get too close. It's a good thing I put myself back into creative to show off other parts of the mod. Well, it appears See, he's that coming close to me, with... and if I was in survival, he would probably get up right to the shore and try to pull me in if I was too close. They are that he's aggressive. Going, he's going straight after the Icus. Yeah, they really like to eat them. In fact, so... I think that's their favorite treat. But yeah, as you can see here in Engender Spawner, it actually says that in the name, it, it, just to show you that this is not a furnace. Uh, but it does act somewhat like one in certain regards. Whenever you You'll use need this, exclusively coal. Yes, you will need exclusively coal. It does not take any other fuel. But what it's fueling is the important thing here. Uh, what you're doing is you're trying to create mobs of your own for your army. And it goes in a two-step process. Now, uh, would you like to go by tier upward, basically? Well, let's just do an example because this is 101. So grab some, grab just someone, someone who will cook, someone who will cook quickly. Also, grab some coal. Ooh, well, yeah, the coal is very necessary. A few Why don't you grab part. a chicken? Why don't uh, you grab a chicken? Chickens are a, a good chickens, example for another reason, actually, and that is they're because they're important. Yeah, in gender, there's a little thing about chickens. The thing is, you need eggs for a lot of this. Uh, oh, was this before they merged? Yeah, this is before they merged materials. Forgot that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want uh, stacks of you want to stick stacks of coal in there for later. Like we're coming, we're coming back to this world for more. Uh, yeah. Yoink. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, copy button. Now keep in mind. Not all of the, not all of the, uh, mo not, we won't cook up all the mobs because some of the mobs take really long times to cook. Uh, I may have a solution to that problem, and it's something I've already got in here. I'm actually kind of curious if the two things would work together. Uh, but yeah, making fusion parts, almost all of them involve an egg or, in certain very rare cases, another uh, finished mob before you actually, you know, put it into the world. Uh, but the fusion parts are basically kind of an intermediate everyone, step that you have to use in that special spawner. Everyone who doesn't have a egg. fancy, everyone who doesn't have a fancy looking fusion part uses uses at least one uses at least an, one egg. Yes. Now some of the fancier ones have extra special recipes that often involve other fusions. The tier uh, fives and the tier, the tier fives and the tier fives and the couple tier sixes in existence. Yes, I said tier sixes, not tier six. There is another. There is a new tier six, but he'll be discussed at another time. Um. So this is how it cooks, and there's a chicken face. Yeah. Now, if you see a face of a They're mob, all faces. usually, then that means that it's basically ready to be deployed. The fusion part is always the intermediate step that goes into the special spawner. You can also see it has all sorts of particles and. Uh, it makes loud may, noises. It may make some mob sounds on occasion. Some of them very loud. So just saying that if you have weird noises coming out of your base, it may be because you forgot you put one of those down. <laughs> but whenever you deploy it, any engender it occasionally, mob... It may occasionally give you a spook by making a wither storm growl sound. It can be literally anything that's in the uh, vanilla any... sound set plus engender. So, yeah. So any mob sound might come out of that thing. But yeah, whenever you do any mob in engender and deploy them, you also get a certain amount of experience based on the tier. The bigger the tier, the more experience you get. So I put down a chicken, and I got a couple of experience. But the thing is, now this creature is now considered on my side. Also note, it says chicken, but it also says the engender mod. So this is something important when you look at it with Wayla. It means this mob is 
from in gender specifically. It's not vanilla, no matter how much it looks like it. So y that's something that you might want to very carefully pay attention to uh, when you're playing modded, is knowing that it's actually from in gender and not just a simple regular vanilla mob. Now, if this was a wild chicken, then I would be able to tame it with the converting staff if it had succeeded before, which I might just try again because I never know when something shows up. See, it's also giving me a report that says that the only one in the vicinity isn't wild. It's already wild. Now, <laughs> you can also um, get, rid of, uh, get rid of the eggs first, and you can uh, use the, ma the middle mass function to grab a, a spawn egg of the chicken. Okay, so basically I can... Uh... Uh, just get rid of the uh, unnecessary things. You can grab a spawn egg of the chicken, <laughs> and it's going to be a wild chicken. Okay, so uh, they, they never uh, come out as... Uh, there's no t fully converted form whenever you do that particular function, but be, I can't yeah, see how that'd be good this for, is to work for This is this is this is so that it works for mob battles. Uh yeah, uh, that would be very convenient for that. Okay, I'm going to try to get this out of the way so that chicken doesn't deal with it, and I'll and try to convert it. Chickens don't fight. It was to prevent them from committing suicide. Yeah, it's saying because they're, they're too important. Is starting conversion it says it's been converted, so now this chicken is mine too. So that's a demonstration of a wild chicken becoming my chicken. Nah, that's, no, that's how you do it, by the way, with the converting staff. You do not just do it once when it tells you that it is in that, it, that conversion has started. You do it until it tells you that it's done. Yeah, and it also, you got to hold the button. So you're also kind of a little busy while you're using this, and it's, it's why it has a few downsides. But, hey, it works. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, on the other go. hand, what... On the other hand, once you get evokers, you can you can uh, stop doing it yourself and have them do it for you. Yes, that's a special feature added in with the 1.11 version of Engender, is evokers have bonus spells and capabilities, and uh, one of them is a conversion spell where they will basically take a wild mob that they see and convert it to the side of the person who owns the evoker. And again, this is great about factions and personal armies. So just remember, everything's based on whose team they're a part of. These chickens are mine, so they're part of my team. And yes, sometimes even normally passive creatures will attack. They will attack anything that's not part of their team. So even an engendered chicken could theoretically be dangerous if you're in survival. It just runs at you and tries to peck at you. <laughs> you see yeah, the size that make? A... Well, again, I said... Uh, I made chickens non-aggressive because they were constantly committing suicide by attacking skeletons. And could you imagine all the creatures with thorns on their armor? They'd so die quickly. So apparently these used to be aggressive, but other passives that are normally passive aren't so passive. There are, however, plenty, of, still plenty of other passive mobs that will attack for you. For example, if you get at a cow. Yes, the cow. The, the cow will the ever so The ever so dangerous and deadly cow. Just as a little funny g g gag. Get out the cow and watch it murder something. It will murder something. Mm-hmm. Never see a cow. So uh, this it, is one that's considered on It may go team, after. It may go so... after the ro It may go after the the ro the, the those birds. Uh, I think they're too far up. So I was gonna go over. Oh, they're here despawning. And see if they they're could despawning. ram. Your chickens will from. teleport to you, by the way, once you uh, land yes, on the soil. Now this cow might attack this squid, though, which would be kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Eh. They can. They unfortunately consider squid as not as passive. Aww. <laughs> though okay, he so will. Though he will. Though they do have selections. We will go over this right now. Mob selections and what they do and don't attack. This is important for engender mob. For engender mob owners, what do your mobs do not do and don't attack? Yes, I see. He's going after the Ica. I think it's because they're considered neutral. <laughs> They may be, uh, it may be because they have eye mob. Yeah, they do. I, I know like a nice mobs. <laughs> nope. Oop. The cow is, uh, but I, I, to I told him you. to get to me first, so I, I don't want him bullying all the Ica. Although they are tasty. <laughs> I can kind of relate, you, but you're supposed to be a will. vegetarian cow. <laughs> but you will. He will bully them. Which is unfortunate. He's may a wanna, bull may wanna artist. may wanna get may wanna get together with uh like a night sometime and we work together we work something out about this uh -oh. so that they don't so they don't attack pass so that they don't attack special passives uh or, yeah or or I don't know maybe maybe he could just give 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 all pa all the passive mobs IMPC because if anything has IMPC and gender mobs automatically excluded from their attack list mm -hmm. yeah as you can see there's certain uh unless they're a zombie 
Well, in which yeah. case, unless they're a zombie, this is so that engendered zombies continue to murder villagers. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a different tag. Team. So uh, engendered mobs have a very have have the following very specific uh, um, exclusions. So of course, um, so of course they won't attack teammates. Uh, they have they actually have several they actually have multiple layers of their teaming. So there is hard, then there is um, then 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 like very like very hard is then never attack never never ever will attack. Then um, hard then decent may attack on very specific circumstances. Uh, neutral, del neutral, then um, sort of ish aggressive and then fully aggressive. So it, um. Well, I'll say I'll state all of them. So the all the examples of hard ones would be any teammates. So other engender mobs that are considered that are considered part of their team, uh, their owner if they have one, and players who are on the team of their owner if they have an owner. Mm hmm. Now also note that uh, along with in terms uh, of exclusions, even if you're controlling them, their attacks will not hurt teammates or anything that they're considered already excluding like passives like for example I'm not killing the sheep normally this cow would actually run things over while I ride it so you turn your cow into a literal bulldozer so yeah I would be smacking like, things out of my way already another thing that defines harmless. another thing that defines hard hard is the fact that the is the fact that that in gender is that the engender mob won't just not attack them but they'll go out of their way to try to to aid them in battle yeah, and, uh, th there are so, some that, are, that will actually do that with their teammates. Then there's the de then there's the decent then there's the decent ones, which are mobs that they don't aid in battle, but they won't attack. In, but they won't attack. So villagers, animals, uh, iron golems have, that that have been built by a player. Uh, any tameable that uh, tame tameable mobs who tameable mobs uh, that are owned by the same owner as the mob. Uh. Zombie villagers who are converting, who are being converted, snow golems, horses, uh, horses, and um, and uh, creative mode players. I see you have to aim farther up not to hit your your cow with eggs. Just saying. <laughs> no, then that's there's usual mounting though. I no, then there's the, then there's the neutral circumstances. Then there's the neutral ones. Uh, um, Zombie pigmen, they detect whether or not they're angry. If they're ang if they are angry, then they then then they go aggressive on them. But otherwise, they're neutral. Endermen, so long as the enderman doesn't have an attack target on 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 them or their on on them or their owner, uh, or anything, the endermen they will they will maintain the they will maintain their uh, vigilance of not attacking the enderman. Spiders during the daytime. So if a spy, so if a spider is non aggressive, and it's daytime. They won't attack the spider because uh, you know, reasons. And iron golems that respawn in the village that aren't attacking the player or or, or anything else. So they're, they're, those ones are considered neutral. Then um, then uh, water mobs that don't have an attack target and animal mobs that don't have an attack target. I know animals are me. I mentioned animals twice, but they technically have both. Because some animals may attack stuff, and some water mobs may attack stuff like Corellium mm -hmm. infest infested killer bunny. Spirits. The killer bunny. <laughs> killer bunny, yes, that's another one. Then, um, then uh, Ender dragons that are less than or equal to one HP. That is to say, an Ender dragon moving towards the center of its island upon when when dying. Yeah, that's a special case because they. Uh, so that they don't. So that yeah, they don't. They're already freeze. going out. So they don't freeze the dragon in in a spot, wherever. Oh, that's the loop you're it. trying to prevent. I I thought it was uh disturbing it from going off in another way, like ever dropping anything or for that matter, ever completing. But yeah, I I can see infinite loop of never reaching its spot being a big reason. Then uh then there's the ones that are semi hot that they're semi hostile with. Which would be uh, which which would be uh, special special from abyssal craft remnants so long as they don't so long as so long as they aren't angry and 
uh, abyssal like golems, so long as they so long as they weren't punched, so long as they so long as they don't have an attack target and weren't punched by by their by the mob's owner. And also they search for and they also they and also armor stands. Armor stands are kind of funny that way because they are an entity and they've been used as false mobs a long time. And so you could imagine Mo withers, the fact Mo that withers, they're considered withers? that way. So yeah, yeah, the funny yeah the funny thing is is that Mo Withers Withers attack armor stands any, every time. That must have been hilarious in, during development. <laughs> Going, why do they keep blowing up my armor stands? <laughs> they keep on do, and they still do it too. It's just too funny. It's like for some odd reason they hate armor stands. Well, it's because they're anti living base and they attack anti living base. And then the creatures that they're aggressive to. Of course, are any hostile mob that do, that doesn't meet that any I mob that does not meet the requirements and anything that uh, does not meet the requirements either. So an iron golem attacking that's attacking the player, an enderman that's angry, spiders during the nighttime, uh, zombie, angry zombie pigmen, angry remnants, and uh, uh, attacked abyssal night golems. Uh, why enemy enemy and gender mobs? Players that aren't teammates, animals that have an attack target, modern mobs that have an attack target, zombie villagers that aren't converting, and anything that isn't a horse or a snow golem. <laughs> it's a and, and, list. And ender dragons that are above one HP. Also, they don't attack any 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 engender mob that ha that that has its converting in that has that is being converted. And yeah, that, and that took a little right. extra rigging for a moment because temporarily there was a bit of extra chaos that was being caused. I can totally guarantee you that. They also, um, they they also do they also don't they also do have a tendency of sometimes attacking creative mode players if they're wild, and the creative mode player punches them. Though then though they may attack for a second and then run a, run frantically away as if they were hit by a as if they were hit by a fire. Yeah, so 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 they might get a little spooked then. That's a different story. <laughs> my cow is swimming. Yes, my cow is swimming. Uh, the thing is, you can uh, you have a little bit of a differently coded mounting physics. Normally speaking, whenever you're in vanilla Minecraft, a horse decides that it doesn't want to conform to your demands whenever it's in water that's too deep. It decides to abandon you. Your cows, however, seem to be a bit more loyal. <laughs> well, no, uh, no engender mob can uh, sink down. Uh, yeah, Except so the cow is also a good boat. <laughs> now, that's something we're going to go over later whenever we go over the tiers of mobs. Uh, is some of them have uh, different special with the exception of guard With the exception of guardians and squids, uh, they can't go down. Exactly. Now, we'll be going over the various abilities of, uh, of the mobs over time, but it will also be kind of over a tiered system because uh, it even says in the description of the converting staff that there are tiers and that is very important because as you have tiered mobs uh, well remember how earlier he said that they have a, a quicker cook time for something that's uh, small like a cow or a chicken well as you go up in tier they take longer to process in that special spawner so that's actually a pretty big factor later on it's not so much that your real cost is coal, it's that your real cost is time. So the bigger the mob that you want to be able to use, the more powerful they are in their tier, the longer it will take to actually get them going, and I thought the age of random x-ray was over. <laughs> oh, that was... that was random. Uh, <laughs> this kind of stuff always happens to me. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing a mod review. Uh, <laughs> hey, Caves! Nice to see ya! I thought that you'd been up. Oh, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> wow, there is something wrong with this. Yep, it keeps healing itself every time. I really think that I'm going to use that random X-ray. Uh, but yeah, but the tier system is pretty important that way. It does determine kind of a bit how powerful you're trying to uh, uh, to make something, but at the same time, it also determines how long it's going to take it to be done. Kind of reminds me a bit of Steve's carts, because see, you could make a really fantastic uh, cart, but then it took forever <laughs> to make. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm going to give it all the works. And then it says, creation time, what, two hours? <laughs> a thing to note, by the way, is that in, is that lot, lots, is that in gender mobs, a lot of them can spawn as babies. Yes, uh, I do believe, uh, he told me earlier, the chance of that is about one in five. 
It's like a 20% chance. Or is it higher than that? 20. Okay, so it's a flat 20%. Uh, so, yeah, you you might be seeing a lot of wild babies, and that's something you don't normally see in, in Minecraft, so it's kind of a clue that something's a little off, <laughs> because normally you have to do the breeding yourself, and that kind of gives you uh, s some suspicions, and they're probably right, especially if they're coming right at you. So I if you see a baby cow running right up to you, and you know you haven't been into that chunk before, you might want to either run or get your sword ready. <laughs> or pull out your converting staff, because that'll probably be the better move. <laughs> and yes, you can convert them whether or not they're babies or, or adults. So, yeah. Pretty wise to keep one of these on you at all times. Especially when they're pretty cheap to make. I mean, a couple of sticks and a torch, you're good. <laughs> so, is there any other major <laughs> basics you'd like to go over with at this time? I know that there's some other things about commanding your army. Yellow? We have the magical floating squid of doom. <laughs> they happen around here. Okay, um, uh, a few other 101s. The, the, others, the other three stabs. They're, we're not going to go over the rituals for the upgrades. We're going to go over yeah, the... Yeah, again, that's dependent on whether or not stabs. you even have it in so, the first place. So, the step up ab uh, above the converting staff is the summoning staff which is the rod that looks like it has a glowing emerald in it and yes. um probably because it does <laughs> I mean, let's face it that's usually pretty common to make it actually crafted it's crafting it recipe. so a couple of iron ingots and an emerald and you get the summoning staff Call allied mobs within a certain radius to the user's position level 5 also calls uh, calls an darn lips also calls and auto-converts wild mobs. Has a massive cooldown timer. Higher levels uh, can be called more uh, can can be called more types of mobs from further distances. I think the text got a little crunched. <laughs> I think there's typos. Those uh, are all uh, type uh, again, type this is an advanced version. Uh, keep, keep in mind, all typos all typos will be fixed by the release. Yeah, remember bugs and typos may be here and will not in the final release, so yeah, p please ignore that. Uh, but the thing is, I have a couple of uh, chickens over there, so... Now also keep in mind, the the summoning staff can, will, on level 5, will have an infinite range. Yeah, that, that's kind of a real kicker. That is to say, anything that is rendered... Is it not, are they not coming to me because is, I'm on a cow? <laughs> uh, you have to hold it back longer than a few seconds. This oh. one takes this, this one takes a bit. Okay, I think... Hold it back. I'm still within range, Hold. right? You also may want to get out the cow. I think the game is... Um, no, no, it's not lagging. That that one bird over there is moving around. Just keep on holding it back. Don't stop doing that. Why are they... Oh, okay, now it finally announced... I really hope the higher tiers uh, work faster as well. <laughs> Because because that that seemed a bit slow for a summon. <laughs> uh, just remember, cow, you might want to be wary of that shark over there. But yeah, it well, does say um, it has a massive cooldown too, and you, you can see from the uh, the roll on it that uh, the roll effect that's usually in vanilla for cooldowns that it's taking a while. Is there another well, major just, staff we can just go to, to keep, while we're waiting? Just on to this? keep in mind, um, uh, the first level, the fir the fir the initial one cannot get cannot give you. Uh, Tier, cannot give you tier tier fives or tier sixes. Um, cannot summon your tier fives or tier sixes. In other words, it's also limited to what tier can do. And again, that's an internal thing, but it is also very important. Uh, it will come up quite a bit as to which tier things are in. And uh, as we'll go over stuff later, you'll be able to have the exact. The next one, where they are. the next, the next staff is a staff that is actually more useful in multiplayer, but we'll go over it anyways. Called the commanding staff. Yeah, this is. Uh, a, a bit wacky as well, but because I'm in single player, I can't do this to, uh, to, to anything right now. But basically well, um, it says, creates well, chaos within ranks of the enemy. Can't be used on tier 6s, cameos, or heroes, which are all coming up later. Uh, level 5 can make wild mobs join your side. Best used in multiplayer. But basically said, this will allow you to steal your enemy's mobs. 
So, it'll uh, it'll make them wild essentially. But uh, each each level uh, increases the tier in which it can cause this to happen. And of course, if they've been made but wild, you can another then exclusion convert. I forgot to mention is any is any mob that is any mob that is considered a boss that uh, it's, that yeah. it's normal count that it's so you can't turn so, an enemy an enemy's wither or ender dragon or Saxoth or Trevorath against them. Yeah, and again, we'll go over that later, but you'd assume those would be in level 5 or higher tiers anyhow. <laughs> well, they're tier 5s. But uh, level, the, this is a level 1, so all it could give you was any tier 1s in the area. In the area. Yeah, now, t to make this, you need all diamond all the time. You will, it's an entire block you, you will definitely more. be needing to upgrade this one. Unless, of course, you want to have an army of cows atta to attack the enemy. Or, <laughs> unless, or if your enemy... Or, or if your enemy... Is attacking you with an army of cows, and even then you'll want uh, you'll want to upgrade it because it can, can because it can um, spark chaos in the hearts of more mobs per per level. Mm -hmm. But the first, then, then there's the but then I digress. The levels are for next time. Yeah, as we the said, final we're, we're going staff, later. The final staff is the portal staff. Now this thing is check out its DMC. ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, and in more than one way, the crafting recipe alone is two nether stars and a full beacon. Yeah, in, in case you you, uh, you missed but my it's uh, expensive review for on but Project it's... E, that's around the value of a chunk of red matter. That's really expensive. That's that's more than that's slightly more than the three nether stars combined. <laughs> because obviously, but, uh, there's more ingredients there, but there's a good reason. But there's a good reason for this. Yeah, this thing lets you do all sorts of crazy stuff. Once you have a portal staff, you can you can abandon you can abandon the converting staff. Well, in so, but cow, again, did you really have to run right through the area as oh, you're you're running after something, aren't you? That's skyless, I think. Uh yeah, I, I was going to demonstrate something, cow, and you ran right in my area. This takes up a good amount of room, actually. So what I'm about to do is fairly We'll big. read the lore of the portal staff first. Uh like yeah, so it summons a portal to help aid the user of the staff. Staff is held inside the portal until it's destroyed or unbuilt by being right-clicked by its owner. Portals summon mobs from bats to withers. Higher upgrades improve the, portals, uh, the portal itself. Uh, Hold back and stand on ground to use. So you can't be sitting uh, sitting in the air. In other words, I can't be doing this and summon a portal. So no flying allowed for this, folks, no matter how good the mod is. Now, it used to be that you could only have uh, a, one portal per person. Whoa! That was that was the wrong staff, and it also really? caused a crash somehow. Uh, well, uh, I, I'd say this is a very sudden um, game over. Uh, <laughs> so sorry about that. I think we'll be back next time. <laughs> the Ica are so gonna die. <laughs> okay, we're back, and this is what it was supposed to have done. Do you have particles on? Yeah. Good, because we get to see the portal bridge light. Why am I not flying? Game lag, and that's like. Oh, that's not flying. I can jump through the skylight. Wow. Like it's a little sad. Um, yeah. Maybe. You may want to turn down the, the volume. Usually it's, it's not a problem, but in this case, it really is. Uh, turn it down to like 10% or something. You you have the habit of making some very loud mobs. I, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think everybody agrees. Oh, and suddenly I'm so flying this, again. Okay, so this, but yeah, so this, this is the portal. Uh, it, it's a very intense and interesting thing to do. Uh, by the way, by the way, I figured by the way I figured out how to change the unit of uh, health showing from hearts to numericals. So just go into mod options and the portal health. Oh, and that's how it works. It, okay. You can pick it there. Health part. Health part split. Okay. 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 But anyhow, uh, for now, this is a one of the portals summoned by the staff. Maybe you uh, hold it on the ground for long enough, and it doesn't crash. 
The portal also has the portal also has a a new go a new a new snazzy texture. If you uh, would be so kind as to stand on top of it. Yes. It also Check out. Somewhat as a solid. Uh, but yeah. Check see, out the moving. Nice new portal texture. Yeah, you <laughs> can also note that it says it has 1,000 HP. Uh, so it is a very big. <laughs> He's crushing an ocelot. Aw, for ocelot. Uh, but the thing is, it has several functions, one of which it will attack on its own, although it is immobile. It will not move on its own, you need to pick it back up. Uh, another thing is it will strike with what's basically forms of lightning. It strikes itself to power up, but then it fires a beam that's basically sideways lightning. Uh, oh, well, whatever direction it is. Could be diagonal, obviously. And it will fry your enemies with it very quickly. And so a portal is a fighting machine. Now, also note that it is also a mob maker in and of itself. It will, on occasion, summon mobs that, because it's your portal, they will be on your team automatically. So you can have an additional army summon just by having a portal out. So the staff Poor Icos. Yes, the Icos are just getting fried. You can see in the in the in the messages what's getting killed. Yes. <laughs> uh, death. Me that's another thing about engendered death messages are on by default. Uh, with with engender, and they do in fact. Oh, and the llama's going warrior. It's spitting oh. at an Ica. Skyless. <laughs> and it, well, yeah, there's some Ica over there as well, and there's the Skyless. It's missing terribly that. because it spit. Uh, when it touches the water, it disintegrates. Yeah. That's the thing with llama spit. It He's fighting the Skyless and uh, trying to get to the Ica. He's trying to as spit well. at it. His spit is being stopped by the water. Well, he's That's trying. Sad. He's a try-hard llama. You gotta love the try-hard llama. Unless he melees it. Unless the Skyless comes close enough to melee. I don't think the Skyless really is concerned about the llama right now. He's just like, meh. Now, they will attack other things in the water sometimes, but usually other aquatic mobs. <laughs> just a dead. hostile creature. Now, the portal, by the way, can summon anything from a bat to a wither. Yeah, so it can go pretty uh, low to high in tier and is completely random. Also, somewhat random as to how often it does so, but on average, it can be pretty quick. About how often we'd say it normally does that? Uh, it can be anywhere. The, um, upgrade, up, up, minus upgrades. It can be, uh, it can be anywhere from. I have, I have the thing right here, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a look. The randomness of it. And a slime is now heading out to sea. <laughs> that was the wrong creature. That was that was the abstract creature file. That's the right one. Eh, cool. I know how to take care of this situation. So, it is the it is in fact decently fast. Um, I even 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 though it can be anywhere between three seconds and. Uh, 300 seconds. Okay. So it has a range there. <laughs> a little weather manipulation I know about. <laughs> but yeah. So basically, in addition to fighting for you, it also will keep an army going. What is that a snow golem doing? Uh, a jig, apparently. A jig, apparently. It's the frosty it, shuffle. It is summoning... And there's stuff. a... Hey! I fished out a fisherman. <laughs> you may want to move the portal onto flatter ground. Like... I think... Oh, it's a baby one. But you picked it up and put it plopped on your head. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with engineer is if you have a baby mob of any sort, and this is regardless of whether or not that one thing we're going to go over later is toggled on or not, uh... They can have a ride on your head if you click on them. So yeah, uh, baby mobs can be transported. Right. If now, uh, if you want to, if you don't want your portal to be there anymore, you can right click it. Yeah, that'll probably don't, be a good thing. Don't it's shift right click. Army. Don't shift right click. Just, just regular right click. Now, what does shift right click do instead? Well, the portal. Well, the portal is also a actual portal. If, if you shift right click it, it takes you straight to the end. Yeah. So. That's a thing. You can use a few wither fights to have an easier access to the end with the portal. I could demonstrate right. that, but then I'd be in the end. 
<laughs> and I stand I'm not stand on the fire this. surface so that uh, so your mom stopped getting crushed to death by the portal. It legitimately crushes things to death, by the way. Yeah, it's very heavy. Uh, so, so, so you don't want to be well, be and, it, when that well and it's and it's its frame acts like solid blocks, so things get suffocated if their heads are in it. Yeah, kind of like how shulkers are a hybrid between a block and a mob. The same is true. Portal for the portals behave portals behave behave more so. Hey, they also, llama. If, I see something you can shoot. It, this way. Oh, it's too far away. You wouldn't be able to. Never mind. You can ride. You can ride the llama too. I know. Uh, you can ride the llama. You can ride the cow. You can ride. I think you can ride the slime. There's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of mountable mobs. Oh, that slime is trying to go after the 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 Aiku. Yeah. He might oh, that slime. That slime literally plunged down into the depths of the water. Which was itself kind of funny. Okay, Llama, I'll let, I'll let you go where you need to go. But there you can also tell that the portals are pretty laggy, so uh, you can see a lot of that was relieved the instant I got rid of it. <laughs> They're particle intensive, and I'm having the hiccups right now for no apparent reason. Hiccups Other happen for no apparent reason a lot of the time, anyhow. That's how hiccups work. It's like, hey, I got hiccups. When did that happen and why? Everybody does that. <laughs> but yeah, there are a few other things that we can go over. Uh... Ah, uh, but still, just get, getting through that was interesting. Uh, we're having a very crashy day. Uh, but there's a few other details to go over in terms of certain items, including a new item, the, uh, and several new items, actually, that people have been kind of inquiring about, apparently. Uh, I'll put some of these things <laughs> out of the way, <laughs> so that they do not do weird stuff again. Mm. Ugh. God. <sighs> More hiccup. <sighs> okay. Uh, but anyhow, as I was going to say, there are a few special items uh, to be uh, mm -hmm. knowledgeable about that also go with the basics of your army. Now, we have here the Star of Valor. Uh, this thing... Well, well it, it, remember how something else said does not work on heroes? Well, that distinction has been in the mod for quite some time. A hero is one that you've made a hero, and you do so with the Star of Valor. As it says here, right-click on an allied mob to turn them into a hero, allowing them to excel against standard mobs, and giving them a pint of, uh, of uh, uh, plot armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, some mobs will also gain special attacks. Uh, mobs also do three times uh, uh, the normal damage to standard mobs and take one-third the damage uh, from them. This buff only happens against regular monsters. But basically, if they're a hero, they are massively improved. Including the cow. Apparently he's regrown into himself. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that he gave him more animations on that. Wow, that that seems a lot spiffier than a silverfish would normally have. <laughs> Why is the particles on this silverfish so intense suddenly? <laughs> what is going on here? Have him attack some. Have him attack an enemy. Get something. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is just too funny. Oh my! I'll put this coal out of the way and spawn it as, and spawn into something random. Okay, uh, let's see here. Well, uh, I could do that, or... Shulks. Now there are two- now there are three silverfish. <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently their special ability is on attack, they divide, <laughs> and they will all be allied with you. <laughs> I also have a shulker uh, a shell now, but yeah, I, I might keep those for later. Hero, but yeah, when something's a hero, they gain special abilities as well as a lot of stat boosts. So Some that was done. very convenient. Some of them gain special abilities. Some of them just simply become extremely powerful, like the incredible Spec glowing cow, <laughs> like, like the incredible rabbit. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the bunny. Oh gosh, killer, killer rabbit of Carabinog bite. 
Yeah, that's a thing. Now, another thing that has been This is a brand requested... new one. Oh, yeah, this will come in this update. Literally just coded. I mean, like, within, like, uh... This week. Did you say today? <laughs> I've heard you people about your request for something to put to... That allows you to pick your mobs back up and carry them in your inventory. That has been answered in this thing. Yeah, now the Star of Valor is a bunch of glowstone, basically. Uh, now note this recipe of glowstone dust in a in a uh, in a in a block, because it'll also look mysteriously a little like this recipe, <laughs> which is several iron ingots and a chest, which is basically an inverted hopper. We 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 had a discussion about that earlier, and it was kind of funny. But basically, this is only meant to pick up engender mobs. You can't pick up normal mobs with it. You can pick up any engender mob. You can't yeah. transport them. And even in creative... Did I pick up the wrong thing? You picked up the cow. Okay, th th that was the right thing then. I just thought that the slime had just jumped in the way. Because <laughs> that, that was looking like he literally came in at the last moment. But basically, whenever you pick up a mob uh, with, uh, with this particular item, it has to be from a gender. And it allows you to move your army, literally... Uh, it, it, you can go between dimensions and whatever, and then just pop, put them back down, and everything will be fine. Uh, there have been some previous issues with them either going through special kinds of dimensions, etc. Like with, uh, for example, Tropicraft. The normal way of entering the tropics doesn't involve a portal. It transports you, but it doesn't have a portal. So there's no chance of them having entity transfer support. Well, if you want to get your mob army there, how do you do it? Well... Problem solved. <laughs> also note that now in Engender, there's this new uh, animation that that's whenever they're growing. So if you were to whenever spawn them in, in, that happens. They have this little growing animation. It's it's more apparent on the bigger guys. So if you spawn in something bigger, like a gas, it's far more apparent. Yeah. Uh, now, there's also this... There's horn. also the... Yes, there is this also. We almost forgot to talk about this. This is the morality I horn. It's been, it's, been, it's been in the mind since... Um, since time infinite, since time immemorial, it's been here for the whole time. Apparently, it just hadn't been gone over before. Uh, raises the morality of nearby allied mobs when blown. Morally boosted mobs gain 50% attack speed and attack boost, and sprint and the sprint constantly. Some mobs gain special attributes when morally <laughs> boosted. Also gives speed and strength to the user of the horn. So hold back, hold back to use. Everyone must take note of that. Main vault plus <laughs> cheering sound. Apparently, athletes never stop cheering. <laughs> well, that's an interesting set of cheerleaders. <laughs> I I think that's a bug. Uh, y y yeah. Again, this version may be temporarily buggy. <laughs> uh, I'll go over here. I'll try to follow. I'm just trying to get away from the, the sound because stuff. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, we'll come I... back later. <laughs> but yeah, we'll another... back in a moment. We will be back in a moment. Uh, well, right. Well, kind of. But we'll be back to them at some other point. Uh, but yeah, another thing is these. Uh, uh you may want to get rid. Of, you may want to get rid of the mobs. Here, I'll help you with that. Actually, this will help with that. Because didn't you say it works on animals? Not, not on slides. Just, just do that. Just do that. Okay, we'll, we'll, give me a second. We'll show the cleaver in a second. Sorry, everything. <laughs> Note to self. Don't have ocelots for now. Spawn yeah, other things. Did not Spawn expect that things. to be an issue. Spawn other things. Well, I was going to use this cleaver on some things, and then that happened. So I guess well, what get I out, to get do out, um, get out, get out, get uh, out a cow or a mushroom. Yeah, or I, was, I was gonna, gonna, I was gonna animal. do that. On, well, the thing is, so actually, I originally, horn? I originally had this problem. I had two engendered chickens, and they would be constantly laying eggs. Well, if they're on your team, guess what? Normally speaking, you can't damage them. Instead, you pet them. Or encourage them in some way. Apparently, in petting fact, chickens causes them fact, to make even more eggs. 
Yes, it does. That's the thing. Also, punch it a lot. Like, punch it a lot. Punch it very fast. Punching, punching the chicken, or or any engender mob enough times will encourage them to be more morally boosted. Uh, yeah. So, so, so if you're petting your your mobs, this, this can happen. <laughs> now, this also it's means like... that it does not count as an attack. So, if you have too many of something, you may have various issues with getting rid of them. Well, he solved this problem as well. With For animals, Con since animals are the ones who appear, in, who will probably appear randomly the most, the tier True. ones, and they're the ones that you'll probably be uh, converting the and most because of that. I've turned this issue into I've turned this issue into a into a very useful solution. A new item that I spontaneously thought of called a cleaver. Read the uh, read read explore. Now allows you to butcher allied animal mobs for their drops. Can also be used as a sword. Uh, can receive the same enchantments as a sword, behead zombies, skeletons, wither skeletons, and creepers. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the reason why this was so expensive, despite the low damage of being only equivalent to a diamond sword, is because it's made with four diamonds and a stick. Now note that this is a diamond cleaver specifically. There it are has tool lower types. tiers. Yes, there, there are, are tool types. There are also... So uh, just so there's a wooden cleaver, a stone one, iron one, gold one, diamond one. There's and uh, and as tribute to Shino, I even made special uh, abyssal craft tier uh, tool types for of cleavers. So yeah. check the thing. You'll so check the abyssal craft add-on thing. You'll be able to see them. Yeah, uh, this is also a preview of abyssal craft content from the cross content ability that we have here. Of the so in there expansion. we have so in there we have dark stone. A dark stone cleaver, an abyssal knight cleaver, a refined gallium cleaver, dreadium cleaver with a bit of blood on it, and an ethaxium cleaver. Note that all of them follow pretty much the same crafting pattern. Uh, so the they are they are tiered. And uh, th again, this is just a little quick preview of the cross mod content that Dave so, now has between Engender so and So to answer the question, how do you get rid of your animal mobs? The answer is you don't. You convert them into you convert them into meat. Right click it. Goodbye. Oh, died. it was that time. <laughs> oh no! Oh, there's there's two re there's two phantoms. Luckily, I'm in creative, so they're not targeting me. Reaping the Reaper. Uh, that is literally. Also, note the hit sound. I missed because I went too fast. Wait. Where are you? I you missed again. I went right past him. Death sand. Oh, maybe it's because this guy was summoned. I'm having an endless stream of things to slice. Eh, flight unstable. Lag too strong. Shadow fire everywhere. No, uh, not there, ironically, did fire. not happen because he was in the water. Eh <laughs> But uh, if you want to get rid of an, an allied animal mob that can be butchered, uh, just right click it with this thing, and uh, well, you well you kind of scythe. They yeah, will be it, butchered. It will make the kill, and that's a right click, not a left click. So. Yeah, uh, obviously diamond would be a little excessive for a chicken, but I just wanted to have a fancy cleaver. <laughs> so right-click the chicken again. Right-click this chicken for more. Also note that it acts as fortune with regard to these, so it tends to give you a you lot. You can of um, drops. you can uh, butcher you can butcher the following mobs. Uh, so go back to the tab. You can but so go back to the general tab. You can butcher the following animal mobs. And uh, you go to the animals, and you go to mob faces. Uh, the following mobs can be butchered: chickens, cows, mushrooms, pigs, rabbits that aren't killer bunnies, sheep, uh, squids, llamas, and and um, and polar bears. Oh, the bears, the bears. Uh, okay. So you can't bear. You can also right-click standard animals too. So, um, so uh, spawn in something. I don't know anything. A horse, perhaps. A horse maybe not a horse. Or a horse, of course. Or, or maybe not a horse, because horses have that terrible death scream. How about a standard mushroom? Spawn in a regular mushroom. Unorth unorthodox mob. Sorry, guys. But... Right-click it. <laughs> so it acts as if it has a pretty good amount of fortune with regards to drops, because that is a lot of beef and leather. <laughs> Oh, now, now let's look at its other the cleaver's other feature, which is 
the beheading part. Yeah. She's fine in a wither skeleton. Well, let me see here. Do I want to do that specifically? Because I know there's a few other things around here. Oh, it was easy, easy enough to find this. So, because it's night time. Kill them. Uh, you don't right-click them, you kill them. Yeah. The cleaver. Note that it also has an area attack like a sword. Because it technically is a sword. Now, wait for it. There it is. It literally shoots it upwards. Go. So if I track it <laughs> this time... You hit them so hard that their head goes flying to the sky. Look up. Yep. <laughs> so it, it literally just slap... It, 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 it kind of pops it you hit off. Them so, you hit them so hard that the head goes flying to the sky. Critical. Regular. Smacked it off there. <laughs> Four... <laughs> It's like hitting them with a golf club with, with an uppercut. <laughs> Four. Perhaps Although you may want to get. So kind of perhaps you might want to get a mob whose head does not blend with a sky. Maybe uh, a creeper. That maybe, was maybe, just random chance. <laughs> maybe get a zombie. Zombies are zombies. Heads are green. How about a creeper? Or a creeper. But yeah, that was kind of a random occurrence. Yeah, it was just slightly off. Slightly off. Well, uh, do another, do, do another one. Yoink. Okay, I got that. Uh, uh, it's just slightly off there. Okay. It's too fun to not do it, too. You have to admit it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it is fun, but it also is useful because uh, there are certain uh, uh, times where you need uh, mob heads to actually do things. Uh, Wither skeleton skulls will be a necessity if you want if you want to spawn in withers, which is important. Yeah, in this mod especially, because you will be needing nether stars just for the portal well, staff. <laughs> well, in the cleaver, it's not too it's not that difficult to actually to uh, make to make lower tiered cleavers if you're willing to not go straight for iron or diamond. You can uh, pull out a stone cleaver and and uh, take on wither skeletons that way. Kill him with it. You can also mount thousands. You can also you can also you also now have the capability of mounting thousands upon thousands of zombie and creeper and skeleton heads on your walls for no. <laughs> yeah. And, then and that's a hundred percent drop chance, by the way, as long as it's uh, specifically supported, which is mainly the vanilla mobs at this time, plus maybe one or two otherwise we'll get to. But the guard block is another very special thing that you'll need. Uh, it requires a few redstone torches, a few iron bars, and an iron sword. Its purpose is a little bit, uh, different. Yeah, that looks nice. And now, the reason for this is it allows you to Along tell your mobs from, where to stay. Apart, apart from having a very fancy looking texture that may, that, that may or may not be nice for certain builds. Yes. Like certain, like super, like this is my super duper fancy doorway with these super duper fancy flashy blocks. Now, that literally oh, have particles I, coming somehow, out of the top. Did I somehow get in extra? Because I could have sworn I did that three times. And you can tell when a cow is patrolling or anything is patrolling because they'll start walking around randomly. Ooh, there's a whirlwind again. Oh, cows being caught up in a whirlpool. Cows in a whirlpool. <laughs> uh, but oh, anyhow. oh, is that? Oh, is how? Oh my God, it's a giant one. Uh, you noticed that? <laughs> the roa, there's giant roas. Yeah, like, they're very small. big. I uh, didn't see small anyhow, ones. Normally speaking, <clears throat> normally speaking, the guard block keeps them close by, but that is overridden if there's something for them to fight, which the roas counted as. So let me try this again. Moo, moo. I'm sorry, the cows are too distracted to demonstrate this properly. Maybe turn it to peaceful mode? Yeah. There's like too many rowers and skylesses and, sky and skylesses all over the place. But I normally cause... speaking, it's supposed to work like this. Stand on the ground, there are some who are trying to get to you. Yep. Okay, everybody in. Everybody oh, in. it's a baby cow. Look, it's a baby Hello, cow. Hello, baby cow. But normally <laughs> speaking, it's supposed to make it where mobs that are within a certain radius of the guard block will 
stay around in this vicinity and guard the area rather than following you around continuously. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> hmm. Well, the signature is the the signature is the explosion sound that you hear. Okay, so stand here. Are you setting no. up? Now? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> that one's okay. That one's staying properly. Is that to be individually set, or is it, okay? Now they're grouping up better, and they don't have anybody else to fight. So some of them seem to be cows. figuring out what they need to do. Some of them the do not. Have, the cows have ridiculous run speeds. <laughs> like, yeah, this is why they become a, a literal bulldozer. Okay. <laughs> the babies are the babies are, are are stupidly fast though. Yeah, you think that's everything that, that we needed to cover for the basics? Because the the cows are getting restless. <laughs> that was everything plus, plus and the, that was everything and then some some uh, new yeah. features. Yeah, but, including some new stuff uh, that's still next, uh, well, I consider basic, but it's also new and basic. <laughs> the next time, though, we can discuss. Um, we can just uh, we can just discuss the tiering the system first, of of moms. the tiering system of moms and the first and the first couple tiers. Yes, and, and we'll there be going some, through those as well. There are certain tier sections who require their own section who require their own videos. So, yeah, that'll definitely be a thing. I put lots of work into these mods. Yes, and he so, does like staying pretty close to vanilla, so you may notice that a lot of them are usual mobs, but with some sort of special twist. <laughs> This cow can kill you. <laughs> yes. This, this pig, this pig may try to attack a zombie pigman. And this, this village, block this, is not a this, normal mob spawner. This the villager, spawner here this villager is going to try, this villager is going to turn against the zombie and kill it. <laughs> also, note, you may be hearing a ghast on occasion. That's totally coming from this block. There a are squid, no around here. a squid has decided to attack a guardian. <laughs> yeah, the squid gets revenge. <laughs> that, that's a good one. Squid, squid's revenge. Anyhow, uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, so uh, this it's is the uh, main uh, stuff. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll be back. But this Thursday. is a uh, glitch reaper here with Enderman of Doom. Uh, more discussion. We'll be... We will have more discussions the next time we come back. Yes. But for now, uh, I'll be we'll be logging off. Uh, so hope to hear from you all In... later. In so, time bye. watches. We will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, bye for now, and apparently, may the force be with you. <laughs>